Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha, the preacher. And today I'm offering a general tarot reading. And I'm going to include an oracle and angel message as well. The angel message. I love the angel messages. <laughs> They're always so positive, you know what I'm saying? Very positive. I use them to start and end readings. And sometimes, depending on how heavy a reading is, I may put a third one in the middle, you know, so. But anyway, I start off my general readings with the Bible scripture. I'm, I'm known to do that. So, and I started at the beginning, but now I'm on Genesis chapter 2, Genesis chapter 2, verses 19. Let's start with 19 and see if it rolls into 20 or not. Let's see. Verse 19. Out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. So Adam got to name all the animals and birds. He got to name everything. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. And Verse 20, we'll go on to verse 20. So Adam gave names to all cattle, to the birds of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper comparable to him. Adam needed a comparable helper. On his own, he was in search. He was in search. And God had already noticed it before Adam realized it. Back in verse... 18, it is not good that man should be alone. That's what the Lord God said. That's what he said. So he already peeped it before Adam even realized it. And I'm just going to leave that right there. And with that being said, God's word, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm going to light my um, candles so that they can burn throughout the reading because I'm ready to get started. I'd be so excited to do these readings. You know, they are a way of self-expression for me, you know, self-expression. And, um, you know, and a way to stay connected, a way to stay alive, a way to stay purposeful, you know. And I appreciate each and every subscriber I'll probably use the word subscriber or member interchangeably, you know. <laughs> I have that membership mentality versus subscriber, you know, but I'll get there. I like my sage, try to get it well lit so it can stay lit the entire reading. That would be ideal. That would be ideal.
Give it a nice burn, yeah. That's exactly how I want it. Mm -hmm. All right, yes, yes. And from there, you know, I sage my crystals. Cleanse the energy. In my crystal bracelet. I'll read up on this bracelet for you. Um, it's called the Mukite, Mukite bracelet of South Africa. Mukite of South Africa. Okay. And I'll read that for you after I sage my cards. And saging my cars, what that does is it, um, you know, releases any old energy. I, I say old energy. <laughs> it releases old energy and, um, you know, allow for a fresh reading, you know, not tainted with anything else but this reading only. Alrighty, so I have my candle lit in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. I have my sage going, so I'm ready to get started with my angel message, the angel message. I'd like to encourage you to click like and subscribe, please. appreciate each and every subscriber and especially the subscribers that actually follow my channel now that there is amazing <laughs> more than anyone could ask you know I'm gonna pull from the bottom today and we have distractions the distraction card comes out again I love the colors Love those colors. And it says, control your thoughts and actions to help you stay focused. The whole point is to stay focused. Don't be easily distracted by the things that's going on around you. Stay focused on what's going on on the inside. Your ideas, your plans, your written down goals. Things that are written down. Yes. So now I'm going to, you know, I want to do something different today. I think I want to start with the Oracle deck. No, no, I won't. No, no. I'll keep that special for the Twin Flame readings. Yeah, yeah. So for my general readings, I'll always start with my Tarot deck. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, it just hit me. I'm like, wait a minute, because it's something that I just recently did and I really enjoyed it, but I want to keep it exclusive, exclusive for the Twin Flame reading, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna split my deck. Okay, I'll 
set this down. Oh, and I want to read up on this too. Okay, so the Mukai stone, which is my bracelet that I put on, in addition to my um, breast cancer awareness bracelet. Okay, because I have two mother-in-laws, my first mother-in-law and my current mother-in-law, both are breast cancer survivors. They're survivors. And so I wear this bracelet during my readings, honoring them. They're survivors, they're still alive. <laughs> And, um, and then to, I wanted to share with you what this bracelet means. And it's called the Mukite bracelet. And it's from South Africa. And what it does, it assists in dealing with negative situations. It assists with dealing with negative situations. So I wear it during my readings. And providing protection to the body aids the decision-making process guide one toward the best outcome I want my readings to be as accurate as possible I burn my Trinity candles I have my sage burning whenever it decides to stay burning <laughs> but I was able to sage everything inspires direction during the assessment of problems and is good for those that are overwhelmed can be used to eliminate distractions. Oh my God, we just pulled the distraction card. <laughs> wow, <laughs> isn't that something? Uh, used in the treatment of glands, stomach, and hernia. Wow, <laughs> amazing. So I will wear this bracelet during my general readings at the least. Wow. Okay. All right. With that being said, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Money, the Queen of having your pockets full. But not only that, she's also the sensitive queen. You know, she's... Um, you know, but even though she's sensitive and soft and, you know, easygoing, you know, type energy, um, she's still about that money, okay? She's still about the money. Don't get it twisted. And depending on how that money is flowing, you know what? She's in empress mode. Bam. Okay? Empress. Let me read up on the Empress. I know she's a bad mamma jamma. I know that. Yes, she is. She don't play. And she is on top of her game. Yes, she is. But I'm going to read it. But again, to go from the Queen of Pentacles, to go from the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress, because the Empress came in reverse. In order to do that, you got to make the the right decisions and the right choices. You can't be easily distracted. Aha. Uh -huh. Can't be easily distracted. But we're going to read up on the Empress. Let me do it right now before I forget because I know I will forget. I'm so excited. I want to go ahead and move on to the Four of Wands, but I need to wait. <laughs> I need to wait. I'm excited <laughs> with, about the rest of the cards because I see them there right here. But, um,. But the, the Empress, the Empress in reverse, because we want to read about, okay, the Empress reverse. So we'll just read reversed. Light, truth, the unrevealing of involved matters, public rejoice, according to another reading. Okay, so she's, she's all about the truth. Okay, so even in the up, even in the um, reverse, you know, her character doesn't waver. 
she's the boss. She she is the boss. Even in the reverse, she's the boss. You can't take it away from her in any position. But to go from the Queen of Pentacles to being not only gentle and soft, but to also have a a firm arm of uh, truth and justice that you're seeking. You know, and all of that is an effort because the team needs a leader. And at this point, it needs a feminine leader. Yes, feminine energy. Women, women are in lead position. Are men the head? Sure. Of course. But can women lead? Hell to the yes. Women can lead. If they have the, the wherewithal, let them. And with that being said, you have the Eight of Wands. Hello, the Eight of Wands. Fire. You know, those fiery signs, especially the, the um, feminine energies of the fire sign. Um, you're talking what? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have those type of energies in your life. You have those in your chart anywhere, even in your moon. Hey, the job's going to get done. Yes, it will. Hallelujah. You'll go from the being the queen of pentacles, having your shit together, to being the empress who discerns the truth and who's the overseer of justice. And why go through all of this? To, cre to create unity in the family, in the workplace. You're going to have to allow women to lead. Why? So that you can prosper. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Let me read up on the Eight of Wands. So we'll know what kind of prosperity we're talking about here. Eight of Wands. The car represents motion through the immovable. A flight of wands through an open country. So it means activity in undertakings. The path of such activity, swiftness, as that of an express messenger. Great haste, great hope, speed towards an end, which promises assured facility. That which is on the move. Also the arrows of love. Love. Yes. Love and family. Unity and team. That's what you want. That's, that's exactly what you want. And you want this quickly. Who doesn't want unity, love, and happiness with a swiftness? We all want that. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And with that being said, let me pull another card because I just want to be able to close this up a little better than that. <gasps> the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords, which is a victory. Yes, you will have victory. Letting late women lead if they have the leadership abilities, allow them to. Women are great spokespersons. They're great PRs. They're great messengers. They're really good at getting the word out. Let them. Let women lead in their natural capacities. Why wouldn't we? Let them. 
Women are strong. Stronger than given credit for most of the time. Let me pull another one. Hey, only the King of Cups can understand. Yes, hallelujah. The King of Cups shows up and says, yes, I can handle it. If my woman want to lead, let her lead. If she can do the job, let her do the job. I can handle it. My emotions, my ego, my manhood. Ha ha. I can't make this up. I just shuffle the cards and pull them. So now I'm going to go to my Oracle deck. And before I even pull from my Oracle deck, I'm going to relight my, uh, my sage. Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh, this stuff is real. It's, it's, it's real, you know. This is real. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Get my sage lit and going again. Keep the energy positive and keep it insightful, useful, purposeful. Meaningful, meaningful to the hearers, those who are watching, watching, listening to this video. Are you kidding me? The bird card again? Didn't we just have this yesterday? We got to control our communication. We have to allow women to speak. The men, the masculine energy must allow women to communicate and speak. No more silencing women. Let them speak. See how it has a different meaning today? I'm going to pull from the bottom. My Lord, look. The woman card. And we have the ace. The ace of spades. Only the joker can stand up against her. And trust and believe she got something in her sleeve. <laughs> she can she can deal with jokers, okay? She knows two of them out there. She can deal with her jokers. Mm -hmm. She looked like the kind of woman that can handle her business with her cup in her hand. Yes. Her cup is a lot like my cup. Hers even look plastic. Her, her cup doesn't look glass. <laughs> her cup doesn't look glass. <laughs> Hers might be metal or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. This orange juice is delicious. <sighs> Look at that. Let me read up on her. I just, I like to read up on the cards. I mean, I have my own little thing that I say. See, she's the woman on the front of the book. Mm -hmm. So let's see, card number 29. Let's see what she's all about. That's my girl. Whoever she is, that's my girl. The woman ace of spades. The significant female in your life. The significant female in your life. The woman card, number 29. 
Look for the woman card to represent the female being read for. The female love interest <clears throat> who is asking about a female or the mother figure if the question is about a mother or a significant female. Two women cards are presented in the pagan um, deck to allow for more flexibility in reading for two women or for allowing a choice of which woman card better suits the needs for the reading. So my interpretation is on point. It's on point. Women need to lead. Women need to lead. It's that season. It's the season for the divine masculines to allow. What I mean by allow, not give permission, not allow in that way, but be supportive. Definitely don't be a hindrance. Definitely don't. But be supportive. Get active in changing laws. Active in things that make a difference. Let me pull another angel card so that we can close this out. It says, Angel of Wisdom. We have got to use wisdom. And how we lead in the near future. Even this country. It says pursue knowledge and spiritual growth. Angel of wisdom. Pursue knowledge and spiritual growth. That's a challenge knowledge, worldly knowledge and what else? Spiritual growth. You gotta have both. One more tarot card. Because when you don't have both you lose out. You lose out. You lose out in the natural, <clears throat> you will look or feel poor. You will lose out in the spiritual. You won't even feel like you know that there's a God. You won't even feel like you have a relationship with God. Or with anyone for that matter. You will feel left out in the cold. You don't want to be that way. You don't want to be that way. So that's why the King of Swords is coming in. I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords is coming in with a swiftness. A swiftness to communicate. Communicate what? Communicate things that you're unsure about. It's being handed to you. The things that you're unsure about. The answers are right there. Why? The Nine of Pentacles. We already had the Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. She's there now. We started and we're ending with the feminine energy saying, we got this. We got this. We got this. Masculine energy, give me the support, the empowerment that I need. Because why? We got this. We women, we got this. We got this. With Dr. Leisha, the preacher. We got this. <laughs> 